So the defense of the place was left to a handful of teenagers and they did a great job. We were proud of them. They hurled every missile they could lay their hands on into the faces of the advancing assailants. They did a good job. We managed to get four guns unauthorized from our people. And if I hadn't had those guns, the whole place would have been taken over by did them. You, did you use these guns? They did use those guns, yes. But it was more or less to frighten them off. But what happened then? Did they actually come into the area? They came into the area lots of times, but were able to chase them off again, and with the shots of the guns, it made them fly off again. Three times that school, beside our monastery, was set on fire. And three times our local boys fought the fire with extinguishers which they got from the monastery. Again and again, these attackers, they chanted, encouraging each other, let's get the so-and-so school, let's get the so-and-so monastery. They failed because of the bravery of the local lads who fought against terrible odds and saved this area from complete destruction. And you have the leaders of the so-called leaders of this little statelet, which have done nothing at all to deal with those people. Do you believe that in places like Bombay Street and areas where there has been burning and where people have been shot, it is right to be meek and mild, as some suggest, or as the majority seem to suggest, to arm and be prepared? <laughs> well, I don't, I don't know that very many people suggests that they are be armed but uh, naturally if a man's home is attacked he surely uh, will have a duty to try to defend it to the best of his ability.